Just on low politics, what did you make of that quite nasty blog which called into question uh, the performance of um, Michael Shanks as a teacher in his, the, the Modern Studies Department at the, the school where he lived? Sorry, at the school where, at which he taught. Listen, I am a teacher um, and I, I know how um, hard our, our teachers work and continue to work. We've had yet another um, set of um, fantastic results for our, our young people here in South Lanarkshire, another record um, in, in terms of positive destinations. Um, I didn't read the blog post which you're referring to, so I couldn't comment on, on that directly. But um, having been involved in education for many, many years now, um, more than I would like to count, I know what a fantastic job our teachers and um, our other school staff um, are doing. I've got two children in a, a local high school just now in the middle of Rutherglen, which had a outstanding, um, a really, really fantastic inspection report, um, probably going to be the best in Scotland um, this year, unless it's overtaking, which I, I don't think is very likely. And that's testament to, to the work of the staff um, in that school and the way they work with young people. You said that you didn't read the blog, but what did you make of the fact that uh, an SNP MSP, Claire Hawley, shared the blog? Yeah, as I say, I, d I didn't read it, so I can comment on the, the contents of the blog or um, any sharing in that context. Shouldn't you call out low politics on both sides? I mean, clearly Labour have got issues in South Lanarkshire Council, but then you've got um, the senior SNP figures effectively calling into question the, the teaching abilities of the Labour candidate. Yeah, as I said, Paul, um, I, I didn't see it. Um, and quite frankly, um, if I, I spent all of my time calling out low politics in the opposition, um, I wouldn't have time to do this interview with you just now, and I certainly wouldn't have any time to chap, uh, to chap any doors during the campaign.